Hey gang, welcome back to our channel. Y'all, today, judging by the title, y'all already know, I'm coming at y'all with a review. I need you guys to know that I'm now accepting the members of the Danny Gang. If you wanna be a member of the Gang Gang Gang, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. After the bell, put your fist up, you gotta fight me. After you fight me and you're jumped in, you're a lifetime member, period. Period. So if you guys did not see my last vlog, go ahead and click the card up above and it'll take you to my last vlog so you kind of see what I got into. But basically, if you're new here, I'm Danny. I am on a journey, y'all, to decrease my alcohol intake. And I thought that I would document it because some other people, you guys out there may be going through the same thing. And um, like I've said in other videos, no, I'm not saying that I'm quitting drinking, but I just want to decrease it. So I've started experimenting and just finding um, non-alcoholic liquors. And I found a wine today that I'm super excited to try. So I know you guys see it right here and it actually says zombie virus. Um, I got these labels off Amazon. I just wanted to make this video super aesthetic, but it's actually the Ariel wine. I'll put the picture on the side of the screen so that you guys can kind of see what I got going on. And it is de-alkalized, de-alcoholized um, wine. Basically, it says it's a Cabernet Sauvignon and it says Ariel is the only de-alcoholized wine to win a gold medal against wines with alcohol. Ariel retains all natural delicate flavors of wine by using a cold filtration process to remove alcohol. I'll leave the website and everything down below so that you guys can check it out. So there's no alcohol, um, no protein, little sugar. It's only 52 calories per eight fluid ounces and yeah so this is what it looks like it's a red wine um like i said the pictures on the side of the screen because we're gonna have some zombie virus i also have some embalming juice right here but i'm not gonna try that this time i'm just gonna leave that right there and maybe we'll try that one next time but yeah, um, super cute labels got them off amazon we'll definitely leave them down below um so yeah it's Wednesday, so happy Wednesday, y'all. I'm kind of doing like a wine review Wednesday, wine down Wednesday. Hope you guys really enjoy it. I'm going to go ahead and open up this bottle. Um, Fun fact, my grandma tried to um, show me how to open up wine bottles and I could never get it. And then, um, of course, I met Babe and he was opening up all my wine bottles for me. And then one day he showed me and now I know how to open up wine myself. Um, the experience of opening this is, of course, just like opening up a regular wine bottle, which is fun. So you don't really miss out on the experience. I like that a lot. The cork is kind of stuck, so hold on. So the cork was a little bit stuck in here. So um, the experience definitely um, reminds me, of course, of opening up a regular bottle of wine, which is something that I really like because obviously if I'm trying to quit drinking, if I go to a party or if I'm going to a function or if babe and I are just sitting around and watching a movie and I want to have some wine, I want to be able to open some wine and feel like I'm drinking some as well. So um, it is Ariel. Let's go ahead and pour it in the glass so I can kind of see what's the color. Ooh, so, so far so good. It has that deep red color that we're used to when we're drinking red wines, red blends, and especially uh, Cabernet Sauvignons. So I really do like that. Okay, the smell does smell like this wine, but it's light. And if you've seen any of my other videos where I'm trying non-alcoholic beverages, they all smell a little bit like the real thing, but just kind of light. So this definitely has a light smell, but so far I'm super impressed with the color of it. Super dark, which is something that I like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pour a little more so I can have a fair taste test. And then we're going to go ahead. I know people do this and they do all that stuff when they're tasting wine i don't really know about all that but let's give it a go y'all um it's the end of the day so i just wanted to kind of see how this felt sipping at the end of kind of like a longer day so cheers oh 
Okay. Ooh, this is nice. So, when it hit my tongue, it definitely tastes sweet. So if you kind of like a sangria or if you kind of like a sweet wine, this is definitely the one for you. It's good. It is sweeter because I'm a red wine drinker, so I like my wine like a little more dry. But as far as the taste, it does have a wine taste. It tastes sweet, so it's definitely tasty. And it's still on my tongue lingering like wine would. Y'all, this is good. This is really freaking good. I'm gonna taste one myself. Mm -hmm. Very good. I definitely would buy it again. Like I said, it tastes kind of sweeter. Tastes more of like a sangria or kind of like a sweet red wine. Um, almost like a muscadine. That's what it tastes like, but it's really tasty, y'all. And for somebody that is trying to cut back, I think this is an awesome alternative. Again, it's the aerial wine. I'll put a picture on the side of the screen as well as the blog where I purchased it. Just do what you wanna do. as well as the website to um, the company because it's, it's really good. I definitely would buy it again. Um, so let me go ahead and finish it because it's that good. It really is. Can I taste and do I know that it's not wine? Of course, it's not wine. But does it put me in a mindset that it is wine and would I feel comfortable sipping this at a party or at a function? absolutely so i just wanted to come and give like a quick review i think i'm going to be doing these maybe weekly or maybe monthly y'all let me know down below i want to continue to find drinks and alcohol alternatives and i'm going to start making some mocktails with you guys just so you can kind of you know know that there are alternatives you don't have to drink and i think that it's pretty cool so with all that being said i am going to leave everything down below regarding this wine and let's finish it yeah it's really good like me and just trying to cut back or whatever the case this is really good so i'm going to take my zombie virus and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Thank you.